Morning guys, special treat for you today, but first, the Kyrie. Good morning, dude. Hmm? Buenos dias. We're shipping some parts today before we uh, show you the cool stuff. Got to make a quick errand, but uh, shipping something we don't normally ship. We got a little headlamp going out today, but the interesting deal, smuggling some cans of wiener schnitzel into Tennessee. Yeah, baby. So a buddy of mine moved to Tennessee a couple years ago, and uh, we went out to visit even, and to our dismay, there is no wiener schnitzel in the entire freaking state, man. So, once in a while, we send him some wiener stencils. It's his favorite restaurant. Gotta take care of your homies, man. Well, we got parts. A lot more than we expected. You sleeping already, bro? Come up. All right, guys. We made it back from our trip. Now for the good stuff. Look what we got, baby. Now, you probably already know by the thumbnail what this is for. But, it's upside down. Breaking back half for the Celica, bro. We're tubbing this sucker, nine inch. Let's make it happen. Y'all thought we were gonna keep it all Toyota. Not happening. Drive shaft loops in there. They got this thing all pre-welded. I thought this thing was gonna come in pieces, dude. So shout out to Jake's for that one, man. And it uh, looks like it's MIG welded, but pretty freaking solid, dude. These are the four link brackets. That's where your uh, drive shaft loop mounts up to. We're gonna have to weld that and shorten it to make it work. Rear shock mounts. So I think the only thing we got to weld up besides welding it into the car is the uh, coilover mounts for the diff and the four link brackets. So in here should be the rest of it. Let's see. All kinds of crap. Yeah, see there's all our shock brackets. Assemble our coilovers. Competition engineering. We went for the non-adjustables just to get this thing rocking and rolling. These are drag shocks, so these are set up for weight transfer. Oh, stickers! Get that out of here. And then, what's in here? Bubble wrap for days. Stickers. There we go. Rod ends. So these are going to be four ends. There we go. Hmm. Welds are kind of whack. But for the most part, this thing's going to get the job done. There's our four link brackets. Those are going to be our shock mounting brackets. Nope, those are more four link brackets. Oh. They got different setups. You're gonna have to read the instructions. But this thing's freaking sick, dude. What do you guys think, man? Pretty sick. Let me give you a little bit more close-up of this thing. The overall freaking quality of this, pretty darn good, man. Thoroughly impressed for the money, you know? So, gotta weld that, obviously, so. But that may be because they're expected you to shorten it. So these things come in, uh, I think it was 22 inch spans, 24, 26. This one is the 24 inch span. Um, you know, it's a pretty tiny car, so. But nice and thick, dude. Lots of adjustability. Seems gonna be sweet. So I'm gonna pull this up on uh, Jake's website to show you guys the uh, specifications so you see what we're getting into. Um, you also see the pricing. Dude, like I said, for the money, thoroughly impressed with what we got. All right, so I lied. 24 inches, 26 inches, and 28 inches. We got the 26 inch one. Freaking 1300 bucks, dude. It would have took us forever to build that thing. And now some of you guys like to see part numbers. So it's a 28024K. Um, they shipped this thing to me. I, I think it was free shipping, dude, to be honest. 
um, just because we spent over X amount. Uh, anyways, it includes these following kits. Kind of break down how it should go together. There's some features here. I'll just kind of pause on this if you guys want to read through it. Kind of shows you what type of steel they're using, measurements, all that kind of stuff. And show you the individual kits that it comes with. So obviously we know that it comes with the frame rail setup. This is the uh, drive shaft loop that we got to figure out. Um, let's go back here. This is the four link set. And it is triangulated. You don't see it in this picture, but it did come with an additional bar um, to locate all this stuff. But uh, these we still need to weld to the axles. I'm thinking these are the other plates that it sent with us. Um, we're obviously not gonna need those because those are built into the frame. So we got some extra steel for whatever we're gonna use it for. And then the coilover shock kit. So we opted without springs because we don't know the weight on this thing yet. So these are the competition engineering shocks. We'll figure out uh, our rear end weight uh, once we get uh, this thing a little bit more put together. So like we said, running a nine inch, got the housing already for that thing. We pretty much got everything situated to weld this in. We're just trying to get some last minute stuff uh, out of the shop. I haven't really been showing you guys that stuff. It's not really exciting stuff that you're gonna wanna see. Um, maybe we'll show you some stuff for the, the finishing touches of those builds. But this is a big build. This is gonna be here for a while. This is gonna be cool. Um, right now, the car, as we talked earlier, isn't a roller. Uh, there's no rear suspension under it. There's no front suspension under it. Uh, eventually, we'll be going to like a Mustang two front style suspension on this thing. So hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, hit that bell. That way you guys keep up with this build and you see once we start welding this thing together and see how sick it's gonna look. Drag Car Celica 2JZ, pretty freaking sweet, man.